Hello children, now we are going to see the light reflection refraction doubt clarification. Some of the children asked me the relation between F and R proof, the mirror formula, lens formula, the proof they asked. Now we can see the proof how we are going to see that R is equal to 2F or F is equal to R by 2. How it came through the relation between F and R. See, consider a ray AB which is parallel to the principal axis incident at point B of a concave mirror. After the reflection, it passes through the focus C. And C is the center of curvature. And CP, which is nothing but the radius of curvature R. And the BC which is nothing but the normal to the mirror at point B. Now, according to the law of reflection, the angle of I, which is equal to angle of R, okay, as AB, which is parallel to PC. By that, we can take the angle, which is angle of alpha, which is equal to angle of I. We have taken this angle of alpha, which is for angle of I. And also in the triangle, you can take the triangle BFC. Right. BFC. In this triangle, you are going to take that angle of R, which is equal to angle of alpha. And by this, we can prove the CF, which is equal to FB. Can we? Yes. Now, for the small aperture, we have to take for the small aperture that FB which is approximately equal to FP because of the pole and the B which is very very small distance changes. It is negligible so that we can take the FB which is approximately equal to FP so that the same like that way we can say CF which is approximately equal to FP. Okay. Hence, we can say CP which is nothing but the center of curvature to pole. This distance. That, that only we said that is R. Radius of curvature. Right. That is CP which is equal to CF plus FP which is equal to FP plus FB. Can we say CF which is equal to FP. So that which is equal to 2FP. By this way we can understand that R radius of curvature which is equal to 2F or we can say F is equal to R by 2. Do you understand that radius of curvature 2 times the focal length or focal length which is equal to R by 2. Now for the mirror formula. For the mirror formula which is nothing but the mathematical relation between the object distance u, image distance v and the focal length f of a spherical mirror which we know that 1 by u plus 1 by v which is equal to 1 by f. That's how? Through that diagram I can explain this formula which is applicable to all concave convex mirror whether the image formed is real or virtual this is applicable the same formula so how can we take for that first before we are going to explain this the assumption for the derivation of the formula all rays are parallaxial the aperture should be very small and the object placed on the principal axis should be very small size now, see the concave mirror I have taken here. Consider an object AB which is placed on the principal axis beyond the center of curvature C of the concave mirror of small aperture. After reflection of light from the mirror, the real and inverted image A dash B dash is formed. Now, we can use the Cartesian sign 
by using the cartesian sign object distance in the concave mirror you can take u v and f all that is in minus that negative symbol only will come because in this side okay so that we can take the bp which is nothing but minus u image distance b dash p which is equal to minus b and the focal length fp which is equal to minus f the radius of curvature cp which is equal to minus r that is equal to minus 2f that is 2 time of f now only we see that okay now we are going to take the triangle the two triangles that is triangle a dash b dash c which is approximately equal to a b c how now we can see that a dash b dash c which is equal to a b c okay that we can see through that explanation a dash b dash by a b which is equal to c b dash by b c so the c b dash by b c how can we take that c b dash by b c with c p minus b dash p by b p minus c p the triangles we are prove the c p the distance which is what r minus r okay this is minus r c p that is r okay so minus r plus v by minus u plus r okay as here angle a dash p b dash which is equal to angle of a p b so therefore we can say the triangle a dash b dash p which is approximately equal to triangle a b p okay so that we have taken that angles so consequently we can take a dash b dash by a b which is equal to b dash p by b p that equivalent to b dash p that means the image distance from the pole that is minus v by b p which is minus u that we can write v by u by that two equations we can take and equalize it that is minus r plus v by e minus u plus r which is equal to u by v or we can write this as minus u r plus u v which is equal to minus u v plus v r can we write this yes or we can say this also further v r plus u r which is equal to 2 u v by both sides we can divide u v r we can get we divide u v r right 1 by u plus 1 by v is equal to 2 by r r 1 by u plus 1 by v which is equal to 1 by f so this is for the proof of mirror formula now the lens formula the lens formula is what 1 by v minus 1 by u which is equal to 1 by f right here we can see the lens formula for convex lens when it is form the real image okay yes see consider an object which is placed a b placed perpendicular to the principal axis of a thin convex lens between 
it's f dash and c dash right that a is a real and inverted and magnified image it will produce a dash b dash is formed beyond c on the other side of the lens we can see the proof how right now the triangle a dash b dash o and you can take the triangle a b o see the a dash b dash o this triangle and this a b o this two we are taking this two okay by that or similar so that we are prove a dash b dash by a b which is equal to o b dash by b o okay this we can take it as one also we can take the similar triangle some more similar triangle that a dash b dash f and triangle m o f are similar okay a dash b dash f and m o f this two triangles we are going to take that two which is what we are going to prove a dash b dash by m o which is equal to f b dash by o f right but what we can write m o which is equal to a b so that a dash b dash by a b which is equal to f b dash by o f so we can compare this two equations we will get o b dash by b o that is equal to f b dash by o f which is equal to how can we take o f o b dash minus o f okay by using the cartesian sign convention we can write the object distance value and image distance value and bo which is equal to minus u right bo which is u is minus u image distance which is ob dash which is equal to plus v and the focal length of which is equal to plus f so that here we are applying v by minus u which is equal to v ob dash v minus of f by f or the same like we can write vf cross multiply vf which is equal to minus uv plus uf or this we can write uv which is equal to uf minus vf or 1 by f which is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u that means we are divide both side u v f by this we can get 1 by f which is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u next session we can see numericals children thank you have a nice day